So Republicans, who have long been the political party version of your deaf racist grandfather who refuses to wear hearing aids, often say the part they think they're whispering a little too loudly. It's like when Grandpa Jim is at the family reunion talking to Uncle Bob in a conversation he thinks is private and yelling in Bob's ear, he's like, is Jackie really gonna marry that Mexican feller she brought to Christmas dinner? And Bob's like, yep, that's the plan. And then Grandpa Jim's like, well, at least by the time their kids are four or five, their yard should look real nice. And everybody in the family reunion staring at him because he said it at like, like 80 decibels and his daughter's like dad you can't say that and he's like what it was a compliment i'm just saying the mexicans are really good at yard work that's basically the entire republican party right but the gop has evolved beyond grandpa jim now and they are intentionally screaming the quiet parts out loud into a microphone we do not want to be a democracy originally congressmen were elected by a direct democracy senators were elected by their state legislatures and presidents are elected by the electoral college we are devolving into a democracy because because now congressmen and senators are elected by the same pool, a direct democracy. And with the national popular vote coming, we're going to be electing our president by a direct democracy too. Bad idea. Washington state just put in their official platform that they hate freedom and do not want a democracy. Not only are they not a fan, they fear that the fascism they favor is devolving into a democracy. I mean, hell, even Grandpa Jim was like, I didn't fight Nazis on the shores of Normandy to have some sissy pants politician tell me who I can and can't vote for. And like, we know this, like Republicans don't like being elected through popular vote elections because they're really unpopular with people. Except for the corporation. Sorry, I forgot. Those are people too. Now the Washington State GOP has come out and made it part of their party platform, their official party platform, that they want to repeal the 17th Amendment that lets you vote for your senator. They want their state legislators to be able to vote for the senators. And the reason they want that is because senators are statewide elections. It doesn't matter where you live in a particular state. If you're a resident of that state, you get to vote for a particular senator. They're the only truly popular vote elected politicians in Washington. And remember, Republicans don't like that because they're not great with popularity contests. State and federal Congress, on the other hand, are gerrymanderable. That a word? is now. Which means if your state doesn't have a specific law against gerrymandering, the party in power gets to draw their district so they can pick the party that gets to be in power. And like, it makes total sense. I see why they want to do it. Uh, you know, I can empathize because if they give people freedom, they use that freedom to not elect you, to take away their freedom. And you know, they could just run on policies that were, you know, popular, but that seems like a lot of work. Honestly, this isn't even the part I want to focus on too much because they're just yelling into the megaphone now and writing down on paper the quiet part we all already knew because they've been saying it way too loudly in Uncle Bob's ear for a really long time. I just want to highlight here why people, like the rest of us with a fully functioning brain, think people who still support Republicans are so incredibly stupid. First off, part of their platform and a typical Republican talking point is that we're not a democracy, we're a republic. And anybody who says that is a moron because you're right, we're a constitutional republic uh, and we're also a representative democracy because they are the same fucking thing. This is like somebody saying, you know, hey, I gotta do a research project on homo sapiens and they pipe back, it's not homo sapiens, it's people. It's the same fucking thing. But I don't like the word homo, which is literally what they're doing. They're like, we don't like the word democratic because it sounds like a democrat. So we're a republic. That sounds like a republic. Republican, and that's what I am. I'm a big special boy Republican, and I don't like democracy. Washington State GOP literally wrote that into their platform. Like, we need to start replacing any time you want to say democracy with republic. But I really want to hone in on that speech specifically, and not the word devolving into a democracy or any of the other dumb shit she said. The parts where she says Congress is elected by a direct democracy, and we're heading towards the president being elected by a direct democracy. Oh, the horror. The bitch is clearly talking about something she's got no grasp of, because a direct democracy is very different than a popular vote. You don't vote for people in a direct democracy because you do the voting on the specific legislation. In a direct democracy, citizens vote directly on policies and bills. That's why it's direct. Like a ballot initiative where you just show up and vote if you should codify something into your state's constitution. That is a direct democracy practice. When you vote for people to vote on that stuff for you, it's a representative democracy, which is what we live in. We vote for congressmen and senators and presidents and mayors and city council members to represent us and our interests in the legislative process. A popular vote can be applied to both. Popular vote just means whatever you're voting on in any system wins if it gets the most votes. When you subscribe to a party that failed civics so bad they think that there's a difference between a representative democracy and a constitutional republic, but can't tell the difference between a direct democracy and a popular vote, you can't honestly be upset with us when we happen to think that you're 
IQ and the temperature inside your refrigerator are competing for a low score. Anyway, to wrap this up, uh, to be clear, if you think that we have too much democracy and we should take some of that away, if you support gerrymandering or think that senators shouldn't be elected by the voters or think that presidents shouldn't be elected by popular vote, you're a bad person and you should feel bad. I'm on a beer, so my rant is over.